Good evening, my friends. This is VJ Franz K. A lot of people have asked me the question of how to connect the Akai XR20 um, drum machine, beat production center, whatever you want to call it, to your laptop to record your beats onto, uh, you know, various digital audio workstations. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. The first step is, of course, to connect the left and right audio outs using these cables and then we're going to connect it into the audio inputs of some sort of audio capture device. In this case it is the propeller heads balance audio interface. You have the audio going into the computer using this. Then the important thing is if you're recording in a digital audio workstation, you want the timing to be exact. So, I also have these MIDI plugs going out from the back of the unit into this, which is a USB to MIDI converter. You plug this into your laptop here, and then it allows you to connect the MIDI. Now, some audio interfaces have built-in MIDI, so you can do that in one box. In this case, I'm doing it with two separate devices, but it works, and I will show you. All right, I'm going to show you where these connections go in. Stop the beat for a minute here. This should look familiar, of course. The main right and the main left outputs are going to these cables. We're not using uh, the headphones. We're not using the microphone input or the aux. Notice my volume. I've turned my volume all the way up. To give the computer the maximum quality of audio, these are MIDI plugs. These go here and they synchronize the computer with the uh, drum machine. Now it's important to have that sync if you're using a tempo synced digital audio workstation like Ableton Live, like Reason, like uh, Pro Tools. You know, you probably want to have this MIDI sync. I strongly recommend it. But you can get a device which will do this fairly inexpensively. Just be careful with your cables, don't force them, just use just enough pressure. And uh, there's the other MIDI cable, one going in. Yes, you can control this drum machine from your laptop, but, you know, we like to do the sequencing right here on the buttons. It's This is what makes the MPC style so popular, is the user interface that's just very interactive. I'll show you on the audio interface. Now this will differ depending on what audio interface you're using. This is, of course, the propeller head balance. This is a USB connection that is going to my laptop over there. These are audio out plugs. They're going to the main speaker system, which is how you can hear this. And uh, these are the audio plugs that I've connected in to one of the two audio inputs and I've selected I've selected between what inputs I'm using. Carefully adjusted the volume so it's not too loud, not too soft. And I'll just remind you what this is. This is the USB to MIDI converter. In this case it is a Yamaha, but uh, there are many brands. Basically every company now has a small MIDI converter that will run you I don't know, between 20 and 40 or 50 dollars, depending on what features you want. So just, uh, I encourage you, read the online reviews, or use what your friends use, because if you're going to be playing music with them, you want it all to operate smoothly when you do a collab or something like that. You notice I'm playing my entire beat here. 
Now this is all very well and good, but if I want to do complicated mastering features on my digital audio workstation, I may want to record different parts of my beat out separately. Like in this case, I've just turned on the synth bass, so I'm going to record that. And then I might turn on the background samples here, the uh, so-called one-shots on this unit. You know, various, uh, all built-in samples, they come uh, licensed to use with the unit, so you're cleared. And then, of course, the main drums. It's always good to have your uh, main drums separate from everything else. So, uh, you know, think systematically, because then you can go back into your digital audio workstation, adjust the different levels, EQ, compression, all of these advanced studio tracks that uh, make the difference between a sort of amateur sounding track and a really, uh, you know, radio-ready professional track, or maybe you don't even think about the radio, maybe you want to be internet-ready or, you know, ready for indie distribution. But whatever your goal, you want your tracks to sound the best way you can, and the more options you give yourself when recording, the better. Of course, the other thing I can do using the MIDI connection is instead of using the sounds of this machine at all, I can send MIDI notes, just like from a keyboard, to the Kong over in Reason on my laptop. So these all correspond to buttons on the screen. So now I'll play the same beat, but because it's going into different sounds, it will sound mostly different. Basic rhythm will be the same, but listen. You know, and I may adjust the sound of certain drums. If you like to program beats like this, instead of on the screen, here's an option to do that using MIDI.